this video you will learn how the system can determine the number of aligners needed to achieve a given tooth position. This requires of the user to have a set of per aligner movement constraints already defined in the control panel. You can learn more about this in our video. After you have moved teeth to their desired position, you can have the software calculate how many aligners are needed for the treatment. Click the Subdivide Setup button. A pop-up will appear. There are three different ways the software can perform this calculation. Fixed Number of Aligners. Here you can set a given number and instantly see what the biggest rotation and translation will be as a result of that. Translation and Rotation Per Aligner. This will set a global per aligner movement constraint for all the teeth. Enable quick adjustments without having to define a new set of constraints in the control panel. Per aligner movement constraints. Here the system calculates how many aligners are needed so that the per aligner movement constraints for all the teeth are being kept. It is worth remembering that you can make as many profiles as you want. So you could have one for adolescents, one for adults, and perhaps some others for various kinds of malocclusions. If you are a lab, you can have different doctors' preferences saved this way to ensure that you make treatments according to their specifications. In this video, you've learned about the automatic number of sub-setups and how it can help you make treatment that strictly follows the movement constraints that you have in mind for a given malocclusion. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.